So I wanted to show you guys my um, citrus seedlings I have growing. They're really cute. They're getting, they're getting a little bit bigger. Um, so I have them growing um, in this in this um it's a like miniature uh greenhouse like a seed <clears throat> a little greenhouse for um for seeds um to start seeds a seed um starting kit greenhouse i got at um i think it was i think it was home depot it was one of the big box stores and they come with these little these little um expandable little growing mediums and they look like this and then you just put your seed in there you get them wet they expand or they double in size and then you plant your seed it comes with the lid i have it up there can't reach right now i just removed it and then um uh yeah so it's like a nice little starter setup um, <clears throat> the, there's a heating pad under here, under there. So let me show you a heating pad I got, um, at the big box store and it's, um, it helps with the germination of the seeds. It, um, it warms up the greenhouse and, um, <clears throat> it helps with um, getting the seeds to sprout um, faster. So, um, so that's the little setup I have here. I'm growing them indoors. I started my seeds, my first seeds, right over here. And um, I started them in november like sometime in november i don't remember the exact date because i didn't write the date down but i know it was november like mid november and <clears throat> and i started with sudachi first and then so in one day i planted like these first two rows and then the next day i did a different variety like the indian i have the indian mandarin quat um, I have two, one, two. I'll give you a closer look. And then I did a two of the Sanguinelli and then Amber Sweet, Yuzu, and Itching Lemon. Um, so those are the varieties, but I would plant, I planted um, each variety a day apart. So like Monday, then Tuesday, then Wednesday. Um, except for when I got to the Yuzu and the Itching, they were like, uh, a few days later so not just one day like two or three days later but um even though they were planted a little bit later some of these these are planted later than this first row um this was plant planted last a lot of them are outgrowing are outgrowing a lot of these varieties over here are outgrowing those don't know why but the greenhouse is very small and like this one is too tall. This is a yuzu. It's too tall for the greenhouse. And so it's like bending. And so I need to get it out of this little container, uh, out of this little growing thing. I bet it has roots on the bottom. And let's check. Oh, the roots are not, are not coming through yet, so. But it is tall. Oops, let me see if it'll focus. So it's too tall for the little greenhouse. It hits the top of the cover. So it's bending. So I need to get it in a pot like this one. So I have a lot of these like peat pods that just like decompose. So I'll fix that later. Um, but this is what I did. So this one came from this first spot. So I've done one. This was, so this is my Sudachi. And I got this little pot. So it can grow in here for maybe the rest of the winter. We're in December, like December 
<clears throat> uh, 20 or something like that, or 17. Sometime in, we're in December. I always forget. I lose track of the days. But we are in December. We have a week left till Christmas. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to be tr uh, transplanting these little seedlings into a bigger pot. And then I'll just put this in um, in the spring into a larger uh, pot. And I like these because you can just pop the whole thing in and then the roots can just grow through. This kind of just breaks up some sort of organic material. I think it's peat or something. And then it just breaks down and turns and it just grows. So it's really easy to transplant. You don't have to like take it out and it's less messy. So I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be transplanting a lot of these larger ones into these. The reason why I haven't done it, I did one, but I haven't done the rest because I don't have enough labels. So I ordered some labels so that I won't, um, so that I won't get mixed up. Um, I won't get the varieties mixed up. I want to know what I'm growing. So I just did one because it's easy to remember. So I should get the labels. I ordered them so they should come soon and I can um, repot these little seedlings into a bigger, bigger container. Um, yeah, so what was I going to tell you? Okay, so yeah, um, I think I had like a really good, I stopped here, so I only used like half the tray. I stopped right around here, two down, and then these are all empty, so I can still grow stuff here if I need to. I only used half the tray. Um, I don't remember how many little pots are in there, but I had really good germination um, rates like here two of them are just probably not going to come up in the first row here this one died but it did come up so i would say from the sudachi i pretty much got a hundred percent these two didn't come up these two didn't come up this one's coming up see and see how this is very little it's just barely coming up and then this one is just really large and they were planted the same day so they do grow like at different rates like these are smaller these three but then there's like these really small ones um i don't know if they will come true to seed if they c come true to seed um so some of these might be hybrids and some of them might just be clones of the mother plant um, but it's definitely interesting to, um, I really am interested in the, um, the clones, not the clones, um, the hybrids, the clones are, you know, cool because you know what you're, exactly what you're going to get, but the hybrid, the hybrids I think are, um, more exciting if I do get any hybrids, um, because then you have like different, a new, a new variety, perhaps, um, like a very unique fruit that maybe you only have. Um, so we'll see. Um, you do have to be patient. Uh, I've heard that they can take up to 10 years to, to fruit. Um, citrus grown from seed or just any tree, really grown from seed they do take a lot of a lot of time a lot of years so up to 10 years for them to fruit um they could fruit some varieties could fruit sooner maybe two to three years um but we'll see so i'm thinking i'm gonna give you guys updates like yearly updates because um it's it's gonna be a long a long journey for these seeds um so yeah so the, this the the yuzu i mean the sudachi came from seed from my tree grown um that's a grafted tree grown in my backyard my little baby tree the in indio mandarin in indio mandarin quat i am excited about because those if you haven't had that fruit the indian indian 
Indio Mandarin Qua. If you haven't had the fruit, they are really, really good. Here's another little one coming up. Another little one just like popping up here. They're very different. They are a Mandarin and a Kumquat hybrid. And now I don't know if they're gonna come true from, uh, if they're gonna come true to the, the parent, the mother plant from seed, or if they're gonna be another, uh, if they're gonna be a hybrid of a hybrid or what's going on or what's gonna happen, but it's gonna be very cool to, to see. Do you see how they kind of grow, kind of like just like a stem? There's not a lot of leaves. The leaves haven't popped up at the top. They just look like a little long stem. The, the one in the back has a little leaf. Um, but the other citrus that don't have, um, what's it called? Kumquat in, in its heritage, they have like these really nice leaves. So it definitely looks different. Um, and then we have the sangu sanguinelli, sanguinelli. That's a, a type of uh, blood orange. Here we have um, two. This one, this one's really pretty. It's older. And then we have another one that I'm really excited about, amber sweet, that variety. Ember sweet, it's this one. And they're really, really um, vigorous. Look how like big they are. One, two, three. There's some in the back. But they're really, really pretty little seedlings. Very strong, a, a really good trunk that's developing. And the, the leaves are really nice and round and pretty um so it, it's it looks very strong and beautiful um i'm definitely ex definitely excited to see um what kind of fruit they're going to produce when they're mature in several years um this is also an amber sweet amber sweet amber sweet amber sweet amber sweet amber sweet so three so we have six these are a lot smaller. They came up later. These came up sooner. And then, then we have the yuzu. And then this is the one that came up the, the fastest and the prettiest. But it's, I think, polyembryonic. I don't even know if that's pronounced correctly. Polyembryonic. I think it just means it's got like multiple little embryos in one seed so you get like one two you can see like three little trees one two and there's another third one coming up um so i think it's called polyembryonic and it it, it happened also with the um sudachi but i did remove um some of them, some of them had two, some of them had three, and I left one. Like some of them, like this one, I removed the strongest, biggest one and left the smallest. A lot of them I left the smallest, at least with the, with the, um, with the Sudachi. Um, I've heard that the largest, strongest one, when you have a poly, embryonic seed is usually a clone so I wanted it some sort of hybrid I wanted to increase my possibilities of getting a hybrid so I kept the smallest and then but but then you do have one you do have some seeds that are just you know you only get one one tree so um I don't know I have to do more research I, I don't I don't know exactly um, I'm not an expert, so I have to research, do some more research. But then you have the yuzu. But the one that I'm the most excited about is this Echang lemon. I ordered um, the seeds online from this website. I don't remember, but it was I paid for five seeds, and then only one of them came in good condition. 
and this two possibly but i tried to but the second seed i i felt like this wasn't going to be good like it, it just didn't look good the rest were destroyed and it was terrible but i'm glad i'm I, it's all worth it because i got one so i'm really excited about about this one this is the one that i'm most excited about and it does look different let me see it'll focus look at the leaves is it focusing mm, i don't know it's got roots coming out yep there's some little roots coming down so i do have to repot this i'm not going to remove one Although I think the largest one is going to be the clone, which is what I want because I want that Cheng Lemon. It's supposed to be a really good tasting variety and it's supposed to be cold hardy. You guys know I'm in a growing zone 8B um, and it's hard for me to grow citrus if they are, if they are, um, if, if they're not cold hardy. It's a little bit more difficult um, even the cold hardy varieties I struggle a little bit sometimes but um but but yeah this looks really cool I think it looks a lot different than the other the other varieties like even in the leaf structure and shape so I'm glad I got one but I was disappointed I would definitely won't order anything from them again because the seeds just, they, they were in bad condition when they arrived. But it's all worth it just because I got one seed in good condition. <laughs> it's like they put one good seed in there and then the rest were like crushed and moldy and it was terrible. It was weird. Um, so yeah, so this is the one that I really, 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 really want to grow and produce for me. Um, I already have Yuzu in my collection, so I don't know. I might give some away um, or just have maybe, you know, add a few more trees. Not sure yet, and I already have Sudachi, um, so I'm not too excited about those. Although those are wonderful varieties. They are cold hardy varieties. And in my opinion, like um, trees grown from seed, they tend to do better and they tend to be more vigorous and hardier um, than the grafted varieties. I do have a yuzu, so I already have two. I have one grafted variety, and then I have one grown from seed. So, uh, I don't know. So those are the, I might give those away. Um, the Indio Mandarin Qua, I'm really excited about. I'm not giving those away. It's right over here. Because I have a, that's a strong possibility that that's going to be like a whole nother unique uh, fruit. I don't think they come true from seed, so that might just be a hybrid of a hybrid. And it might be something wonderful or something terrible. Or it could just be, I don't know, if they come true, it's going to be wonderful because they, they are delicious. If you haven't tried the Indian Mandarin Qua, definitely try them. You can eat the whole thing and they're super, super delicious. One of my favorites. The Amber Sweet, I had an opportunity to try the fruit. Very, very delicious. It looks like an orange and kind of tastes like an orange, but it's not an orange at all. Um, it's got lots of different things in its, in its, um, like it's mixed with a lot. Of, it's a lot, it's a mixture of, of several different citrus. Like you just do a, like, maybe Google that one and then you can see it's got like, orange and I don't, it's got a lot I, I think it's I don't remember exactly what's um, what they crossed to get the amber sweet but it is really cool I remember when I read it I was like oh that's really cool and it tasted really really good the amber sweet um, but this one uh, I'm excited about this lemon type tree which is also um, I'm excited. I'm excited for this one because of the cold hardiness. But um, the sun's coming in. I have a window here, so they get some sun, and then I cover them so they don't dry out. Um, but then this one, I am just waiting for the the labels to come so I can, you know, they they need a bigger container. 
you need a bigger pot. So that's my um, citrus grown from seed. I used this little chopstick, wooden chopstick to make holes when I was planting, just like this. Because they're very small. So it comes in handy. But there it is. So this is what I'm doing um, over the winter. This kind of keeps me um, busy because there's not a lot going on in the winter in my backyard garden. A lot of the trees are deciduous and they're sleeping. I have uh, a few evergreens, but yeah, not a lot going on. So this is fun. So if you want to grow things from seed, it's definitely, definitely a fun thing to do. You just have to be patient because it is a long, a long process before you get the rewards of the fruit. All right, this video is a little bit too long now, so I'm going to um, let you guys go and I will give you guys an update and let you guys know what made it. Um, to year one. All right. Bye.